You might remember the case of the missing RVers who went boondocking, never to return again. Well, there's a recent update that we're going to share in this video. Plus, we're gonna talk about a great new way to stay safe while living RV life or van life, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned. We're Ben, Charity, Dakota, and Trinity. We are a family of four who's been RVing since 2017. We've visited over 38 states with a goal of all 50 by 2023. Right now, we're spending the winter in Florida, visiting beaches, springs, and more. Subscribe to learn more about RV living, RV maintenance and tips, family life, and much more. Now, before we jump into this week's video, we wanna say a huge thank you to our insiders group. Your support means the world to us, and we love being able to bring you monthly insiders-only giveaways and connecting on a deeper level with you all. We also have our first ever Insiders Meetup coming up next month in December here in Central Florida. So if you want to connect in person, check out our Insiders group at gratefulglamper.com forward slash Patreon. And I'll leave a link in the description below as well. With the recent happenings in the RV and van life community this past year, personal safety and staying connected to others while boondocking or camping has taken on brand new priority. When James and Michelle Butler went missing while boondocking back in 2019, staying safe while RVing was at the forefront of our minds. Now there has been a plea entered in that Butler case, and we're gonna tell you about that a little bit later in the video. Shortly after the news broke back in 2019, we started looking for ways to enhance personal safety while on the road. And one of the things that we did was arranged for an interview with a state park ranger to talk about personal safety while camping, boondocking, and RVing. I'm gonna put a link above to that video, but one of the ways to stay safe that Trooper Brandon recommended in our video was establishing a check-in process making sure that someone knows where you are and when you're supposed to arrive at your next destination is important in ensuring personal safety. If you don't arrive by the appointed check-in time, then your check-in person knows something's not quite right. In the case of the missing boondockers, the butlers, it took over four days for their bodies to be discovered. Their RV was consequently stolen by their assailants and then taken across the border into Mexico. These events remind us all that we must take precautions when it comes to personal safety when RVing, camping, or with van life. We never again <laughs> want to read another news story about a missing boondocking RV or van lifer. Two stories about this in the news in the past three years is way too many. Having someone know where you are and that you arrived not only provides peace of mind for friends and family members, but it's a safety net for you also. And let's just be honest, for you or your family member to be able to check in, you have to be able to do so, meaning you're not incapacitated in any way. We'll talk about the update in the case of the murdered boondockers, Michelle and James here in just a few minutes. But first, we wanna share about a great new way to have a safety plan and check-in process and how to take that a step further with real-time GPS tracking. Now, we've recently been introduced to the Wear Safe GPS, which is real-time tracking for, well, anything you wanna keep track of, really. Now. My background is in the automotive industry and back when I used to work in the automotive industry, that makes me feel super old, like, back in my day, we didn't have this technology. <laughs> we installed these FM devices that use radio signals for tracking on higher end cars like Corvettes or the Ford GT and other high dollar vehicles. Now, GPS technology has evolved and made that same sort of tracking technology available to everyday consumers like you and me. Now think about this, if you have a wear safe device mounted on your RV, your van, e-bike, whatever it is you wanna keep track of, you can get real-time updates on the location of where your RV is at, but better yet, you can also allow others to see where you and your RV are located. Can you imagine how the recent news cases we've seen in the news of missing van lifers and RVers might have either been different or maybe solved faster with this type of technology in place? What if your RV, vehicle, or e-bike are stolen? We've seen several videos this past year with other RVers who had their e-bike stolen on more than one occasion. <laughs> 
With GPS tracking, you can know right where your valuable item, vehicle, e-bike, is located. We've also seen more social media posts than we can count of RVers who put their travel trailers or RVs into a storage situation and then they were stolen. People are sharing information in these groups in hopes that someone has seen the missing RV in an effort to recover it. With the WearSafe GPS, you can draw what's called a geofence. And how this works is that if your particular asset leaves that area where you've drawn the fence around where your item is supposed to be, you can get notified by email, text when that happens. This is great because now you can also be notified by email or text message when your loved ones reach a destination or know if they've left that destination to know that they're on schedule with their travel plans. What we love about this is the peace of mind for family. Now, we've mentioned before that my parents are full-time RVers and they use a check-in process with family members for personal safety. This helps to automate the process, plus it helps with recovery should their RV or truck ever be stolen. Because this technology was originally developed for fleets, you can also get a glimpse of where your RV or whatever you have the device on has been and stopped over the past two days. Now this is super valuable information should the unthinkable happen and you need real data to be able to help find someone or something. And since the tracker is, well, magnetic, it's also portable. So the GPS trackers can easily be transferred between vehicle to golf cart or whatever you wanna put it on. RV parks can be massive. In fact, the KOA near Mount Rushmore is the second largest in North America, it's huge. And being able to have one of these on maybe say your golf cart or your ATV while family and friends are out on the trails is just really good peace of mind. Now back to the recent development and the breaking news in the case of the murdered butlers, Adam Williams has pleaded guilty to several charges in connection with the butler murders. The charges include capital murder, unlawful use of a firearm, theft, tampering with evidence. These charges are all, of course, in connection with the RV and couples homicide. And the guilty plea means no trial and that he will be in prison for the rest of his life with no possibility of parole. Why this doesn't bring back James and Michelle, we do hope that their families are able to have at least some closure to this awful situation and they are in our thoughts and prayers at this time. Because safety is something we think about often while we're out on the road, we did ask We're Safe to provide our viewers with a discount on these GPS units and they gladly agreed. And so you can save 10% on a GPS tracker when you use the code GLAMPER10 at the link below for purchase of these wear safe units. Now I checked out their website today and noticed they have some Black Friday deals going. So you wanna make sure you check out what tracker might work best for you while that they're on sale and then use the code for the discount. We have all these details on our partners page as well on our website. So we'll have a link below for that. So we have a blog post up about personal safety while RVing and we cover even more tips on ways to just stay safe while you're out camping, boondocking, RVing, and more. So make sure that you check that out. The link is in the description below or just go to gratefulglamper.com and click the blog tab. Now you'll have to let us know in the comments below your thoughts or what you do for personal safety when RVing or van lifing. Do you have a safety plan? Are you taking certain steps to make sure you stay safe? We always love hearing from you in the comments. So make sure that you leave a comment even if the comment is just to let us know that you found this video informative. I'll put a link for the video that we did where we interviewed Trooper Brannon right up here. And I'll put a link to a video playlist on more RV and camping news up here. Check out the giveaway that we've got going on Instagram before it ends right over here. And then make sure you hit that subscribe button over here. If we don't see you out on the road or at the campground, we'll see you in the next video.